Okay, so everyone, in this video, we will try and replace the battery on this JD8825 solar floodlight. I bought this three years ago, and it is only till recently that I noticed this starting to get dimmer. This, on the other hand, which I bought together with this three years ago, is still as bright as the day I first installed this. But the problem with this design is there's no way to remove this and replace the battery, except only with heat, okay? So that's what we'll do. There's our battery, it's obviously glued on there, let's try to cut that out, okay. Now, we'll desolder that. I hope you can see that. Positive, negative. Okay. So let's check the battery voltage of this. 2.4, 2.5 volts. Now, unfortunately, the only battery available that I could get my hands on is this. And this, obviously, two batteries. And it won't fit inside here. So... But maybe you can still use this. We just have to take the one battery out. Let me cover the situation. Okay. Okay, so let's check. Battery voltage again should be 3.2 and it is 3.27. Okay, that's our positive. Okay, so now let's check if it works. Let's turn it on, and it is as you can see, it's bright, but you'll see later. Turn off, push auto, should turn on. Okay. Let me glue the battery. Okay, so that it won't move inside the case. I'll just apply gasket here and then I will let it dry before I will install the glass back on. So there it is, okay? But I won't put the glass back on because I don't want it to stick on the glass. I just want it to have a rubber seal all around it. That way, should I need to take this apart again, maybe three years or five years from now, I won't have to use a heat gun.
So I think we're ready to assemble. The gasket is dry now. Dry to the touch, but not all the way dry. Okay. Okay, so there it is. As you can see, see it's pushing down on the glass. Now hopefully this repair will last for another three years, maybe hopefully longer. Uh, but should the day come that I need to take out the battery again and replace it, I need not apply a heat gun, I just need to take this out. So let's test. And it's working. So anyway, I do believe that's it. That's how you replace the battery on one of these. That's all that there is to show. I hope you like this video. I hope you found this helpful. Okay, if you do, let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. Only if you want to. And as always, thank you for watching.